Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. We'll take a look at this guys, everyone's favorite air mouse remote. The one feature that was missing, well guess what, they just upgraded to the brand new version and take a look, look what they've got. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this remote coming up next. Okay, so just a quick highlight video to go over what this is all about. Many of you are familiar with this remote, likely have an older version. They just released a new updated version called the Wii Chip W2 Pro. If you're not familiar with this, it's an air remote that has an air mouse, but it also has a full keyboard on the back, so it makes things much easier for many devices. Now, if you have a device that has a USB port, you simply plug this directly into it. Now, if you have a Fire Stick, for example, you'll need to get an OTG cable, and I'll put a link in the description if you need one of those. Now... I will say Wii Chip was nice enough to send me one of these to test out and their aim for this particular version is to revise some small misses on the prior version. Specifically, there's three main differences between this and the prior version. Okay, so let's look at them side by side. Here is the old and the new one right next to each other, and the most obvious is the look. So they completely overhauled the look of them. As you can see, they not only changed the look, but they also moved the buttons around. So the old one puts many of the buttons together, whereas the latest version sort of separates them out. They kind of space them out a little bit more. So you know, which one do you like? I know it's kind of personal preference, but the other thing is they don't use batteries, uh, which is nice. They, they charge via micro USB to USB, as you can see in the video. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick rundown on some of the main features on this new remote. Now, it's compatible with pretty much all your devices, your Android box, Android TV, PC, smart TV, projector, different tablets. Now, one of the main updates on this and I hinted in the intro is this new dedicated home button so in the prior version if you recall you would have to use that back key and push and hold that in order to get home and that proved to be a little problematic so by having a dedicated home button it's going to be a big welcome addition for this new remote so the other thing that this remote has is it has um, integrated voice assistant built right in i believe this was on the prior version as well but it definitely uh, comes in the new version this has uh, the full query keyboard and guys once you start using this you're going to just you're not going to want to use anything else okay I know if you're like me and you are on that fire stick and you're trying to search something letter by letter or if you're on an Android TV and you're trying to search with uh, you know one letter at a time like this this is so annoying guys so once you have an actual full keyboard right on the back of your remote and you can type things it is it just makes a world of difference it's so much easier so i think you guys are going to definitely like that now this remote has a seek feature so if you happen to lose your remote if it's under the cushion or underneath a bunch of pillows and you can't find it you can push the seek button and then the remote will actually beep really loud so that you can actually hear it and then it will help locate your remote here is another upgraded feature on this year's version. And now the remote, guys, is, is it's backlit. So I don't know about you, but I love it when the remote is backlit. It makes it so much easier to use. I have a Buzz TV, a couple of different of those Buzz TV remotes, and those are all backlit, and I absolutely love those. So it makes it so much easier, especially when you're watching things at night, if the remote is backlit. So I know you guys are going to appreciate that one as well. It has a built-in gyroscope, so it will allow you to move the cursor according to you know how you actually work your remote, and it's going to move it in a 360-degree directional, which is really nice. The other thing that you can do with the keypad is it actually has a touchpad integrated with it. So one thing that I like to do with this is it will help you zoom in and zoom out. You can do it right on that touchpad. Makes things much easier if you're trying to zoom in onto a particular image. 
you can turn this remote off if you want to. Now remember, this remote does not utilize batteries. It's going to be charged via USB, micro, uh, micro USB. So, but if you turn it off, it will help to save power. So guys, that is a quick rundown on some of the main features. Another thing that I do want to point out is on this latest remote, it is a little bit slender than the old version. So I feel that it is a little bit easier to use in your hand. So I definitely like that. Whereas last year's, it's a little bit wider. So it's definitely, I think they sort of just kind of trimmed it down just a little bit. All right, so this was just a quick run through kind of highlight video. I just want to give you a quick recap. So the three things that are new is it has a dedicated home button. It has a new look. It's a little bit more slender in size. It's easier to hold in your hand. The buttons are more spaced out. And of course, it has the backlit keypad. So those are the three major differences, and I think they're welcome additions. Now, guys, WeChip actually gave me a hundred discount codes okay so if you want one of these i'm going to put the link in the description along with the code now once those hundred codes runs out it'll be first come first serve so if you have any issues using that code and what it's going to do it's going to take you to amazon you're going to put the discount code in there and it's going to be sent directly from amazon so you're going to get 15 percent off but there's also an additional five percent on Amazon, so you get a, uh, a total of 20% off, and I believe the regular price is $25.99, so you're going to get 20% off that $25.99, and then you also get free shipping, so it's a really good deal. Let me know what you guys think. I do have a question for you. Before I go, let me know in the comments what device are you using. I'm curious to know what everyone's using these days. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.